What's up guys? We're back at Grinding Dragoner. I actually had some comments that why haven't I made more videos about it? And I just was not really making a lot of videos at all recently, to be honest. But here we are. Thanks a lot for Dragoner for sponsoring this video. And let's see what we get today. I guess we'll start it off with summons and see if I'm if it's my lucky day. Actually, let's go with the ice one, but I don't think it really matters. Ice or necrosis, they are basically both of the same affinity combination anyway, so I would be happy with either one. But basically we need to roll a 15 plus from these two for it to matter to at least get an epic champion. Otherwise, it's not relevant. But so far, I haven't gotten any any epics or legendaries from the summoning horn. Okay, two more. It should give you an option to pull all of them at once, but maybe that's less uh, less exciting. Maybe people like to do the single pulls. Okay, come on. 20? Nope. Yeah. You can see the summoning chances. This is like daily free summons that you get. Just over time. But uh, where does it show it? Oh yeah, here. 15 to 19 is epic hero and 20 is legendary. So basically anything less than 15 is not that big deal. And the chances are pretty slim to get anything else that you want. But I probably have normal summons as well. Might do them too. Though, I guess, actually, I think there's a summoning event coming up. Maybe I shouldn't use my normal summons. Meh, I'm kind of behind, so I might as well use them. But apparently, there's some other crazy event coming up soon. But I guess I'll talk about it then. We can only get at tops epic champ champions from the. Um, from the purple summons. Can't even get a legendary here. Okay, so yeah, yeah, these were Starlight dice and the other one is Heliolite dice. Okay, we got something. And it's actually Necrosis. That, that might even be a new champion. I don't at least recognize that one. But I do use those Ice and Necrosis types a lot, so maybe it will be relevant to me. Okay, one Heliolite summon. Legendary? Nope. Okay, that's fine. What about the champion that I get? I mean, I'm no expert in Dragonair, but I don't think that... I think that champion must be fairly new to the game. Maybe I'm wrong. Vlad. The halls of knowledge are not open to all. Okay, there it is. I saw. Okay, what do we have? When the hero hits an enemy with a skill, has 30% chance of dispelling one buff from enemy. Or is it some kind of boss killer? Launches three attacks at an enemy, dealing necrotic damage, with 50% chance of inflicting accuracy penalty. Selects up to three enemies to launch three attacks, each dealing necrotic damage, with 50% chance of inflicting attack penalty for 10 seconds. Okay, maybe this would be a good champion for the boss battles. 
I guess I level it up. What about the other one? I'll have to look this up from the tier list, but this one doesn't look as interesting as the other one. Anyway, I don't have time to... I will need to farm more resources from the dungeon. I can instantly level up those champions today. I think where I set off last time is that I unlocked a new city. I just did some Come on, let's get some drinks. Uh, quest to... Like, I couldn't get into the city and I needed some emblem from a queen that uh, the city guards are actually letting me in and it's the first time that I'm, I'm actually getting to visit the city. So it's gonna be story-focused progression episode, I guess. I don't think the purple ones are story missions, though. Okay, this is just... Random quests. I'm not gonna pay attention to this too much. I'm just gonna pick everything and go forward. Okay, easy skip. Thank you. I'll... okay. We're doing a charisma check. I do have plus four. I think I went... Oh, I'm still losing. I think I went like full charisma on my character. I generally like to use... This is kind of like personal thing, but in RPG games, I do like the charisma characters. I don't know what you guys think about them, but in in every type of um, these old school RPG games, like D&D styles, I do like to go with that. That's That's my preferred... Whatever it's Warlock or anything, but it's always some kind of Charisma build. I don't think that's as big deal in Dragonair, to be honest. It only gives you some dialogue options in the... Like the... Interactions that you have in the world. And it's not mandatory and it it's not like... Um, game altering or air chattering, but... It adds a little bit flavor to your gameplay. Okay, now let's get into the actual main story. I think the story went that the duke was... Uh, was it duke or king? The king was captured and killed and there was some cult going on. And some like behind the scenes like sheaving between the different parts of the royalty. And I guess the queen was the bad guy. Not the queen, but maybe it was the queen. Oh, I can't no recall. For such pleasantries, Dragon Slayer. Flora has already informed me of your situation. Some kind of conspiracy, though. That's what what's going on. Please excuse the recent closure of Crimson Iris Port. Courtesy of the Orcs, we've been forced to exercise more caution than ever. Of course, heroes such as yourself are always welcome here. Name your request, and we'll do our best to accommodate you. Okay, give me. Give me a thousand Heliolite dice. How about that? It would appear that the rumors are true then. <laughs> After Flora told me you'd caused abnormal tremors in the Empire's tainted tower, my advisors resorted to such speculation. So you really came here to find the place where the dragon corpses are buried? And the legends about orcs absorbing the dragon remains are true? Oh yeah, I mean, the, I guess the main plot is to... I guess in every chapter the main boss is going to be killing one of the dragons. But the, the side story in this chapter was that we were investigating those dragon corpses and the, I think it was some kind of royal mage or whatever his title was, but he was like doing some kind of scheming and researching the corpses and doing some evil magic with them or whatever. Okay, he's... Although Crimson Iris Port has recently closed its doors, be aware that the people of Bay Reach have long been concerned with magical research. Yeah, he might be well informed. I'm not. I... I can fully remember all the details of the story, to be honest. I do remember that it was about the 
magic research, like he's saying. More so, the Mordelets and the Ognicor Royals have always been close kin. These are times of peril, endangering the Empire's survival, so it's natural that we will endeavor to help. As for your desired destination, the Eye of Therme, there are certain issues for which you will want to be prepared. Indeed, the Eye of Therme is one place that buries evil dragon's bones. However, in recent years, the heart of the Eye of Therme has begun experiencing worsening corruption. Some believe this is caused by the magical power of the dragon corpse itself, but the true cause is still unknown. Yeah, in some dialogue options, like the main character, like me, the player, I was absorbing some of the evil power in the dragon corpses or whatever, and I guess that has to do with the origin story of the character, which wasn't fully explained why I got these superpowers, but they were like negative to some people and everybody was surprised that I was able to do it. There are rumors of monsters spawning near the Eye of Therme recently, so the surrounding residents do not dare to go near. If you must head there, then please be very careful. If you have further questions, you can talk to Flora. She's already returned to the city. Good luck, Dragon Slayer. Okay, let's get to battles. Last part of the story was about helping the elves, but now we have moved on to the human kingdom and different thing. We're not the final boss right now is not the Emerald Dragon Bread, it's some kind of other dragon. I don't actually know who's the next enemy gonna be, but in the last chapter it was very clear from the start because instantly when the chapter started we had some dialogue options with the final boss. Okay, this is just side missions, we're just gonna skip this one. I don't need to hear his life story. I'm not really the lore type of guy, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes it can be interesting. I'm more of a like a PvP player, grinder and minimaxer. I'm not really the, the type to get too involved with the story. Okay, I guess, do I need to manually walk there? Yeah, this is uncharted territory for me, I haven't... I just unlocked this part of the map, so I haven't even been here. I got the new shiny keyboard, so it feels kind of cool giving it a spin. I don't know if I can show it super well on the video. Let me show it too. I need to, I need to get the better camera to actually give a good. Um... Here's what I got. It's kind of shiny. It's not like a super ultra expensive one, but I've been using an old Fujitsu. KP520 keyboard. If somebody knows, then you know, but it's like, I don't know, 30 year old keyboard model that we had in my elementary school when I was a kid. And I was just used to that keyboard, like we, which we had in like elementary school and high school. All my young life, it was the school keyboard. And when I got my own personal PC, I have always been buying that keyboard and I have had multiple copies of it when it born when it was worn out, but I decided it was finally time to get the new keyboard and kind of move on because the keyboard model was so old that I couldn't really find anywhere to buy it and only scal Scalper is selling it for ridiculous prices and it was finally time to get my first mechanical keyboard. I never had one. My brother had those for like, I don't know, past 10 years or 15 years, so it it was finally uh, about time for me to to get on with the current times. Okay, let's see what kind of riddle we get this time. How do you feel about your appearance? How much beauty do you think you possess? 
I'll shall bow for my beauty. I am ugly and repulsive. A boring facade. I don't know how you say that. Facade. A boring facade which can rip off at any moment. Well, I, I'm, I'm not super keen on any of these dialogue options. I'm kind of leaning on for the third one, but that's written in more edgy, uh, kind of little bit cringe type of way. I, I would probably go with that one, but word it a bit differently. Yeah, th <laughs> this is this kind of like pseudo profound stuff. My so-called appearance is merely an uninteresting mask. When I rip it off and reveal what is beneath, even I, I cannot tell what I'm looking at. Okay, calm, calm down, buddy. Okay, are they gonna roast me or what? The faithless only debates about that which are known, but the traveler has encountered with the unknown. The faithless has no response for faceless ones. The faithless has nothing to refute. It must be that the traveler knows the faithless yields from fear in the face of unknown. We thus cannot deny the traveler's claim of pity. We thus cannot discern if the if they possess such pity. Okay, that's good enough for me. They're always being toxic when they ask some random riddle, and I give them what I feel about that question. And usually they always like roast me and call me idiot or something. But I guess this time we were in agreement. I, I kind of like it. It doesn't feel super impactful, but we encounter those riddles in the map all the time, and it does definitely add some flavor to the gameplay. A cloud of black mist blocks your path ahead, as though warning your approach. I guess that's too far, and I'm not supposed to go there just yet. Yeah, I can get through it. Okay, what is that tentacle tree? Am I am I watching like anime episode or what is this? Undead tentacle tree. What? Toxic twiner. Yeah, I get like ants or some kind of undead hollow trees, but I have never seen never seen a tentacle tree before. It's just keeping keeps moving those branches like it's I don't know if they're like reusing the animations or the whatever it's called the character models but it almost looks like it's meant to be maybe like something else than tree or maybe the same model is used for like a <laughs> squid or something anyway surely I'm over leveled for this content and we can easily breeze through it Right? At one point the uh, progression in the story content was getting too hard for me and I kind of took a break to farm dungeons so I should be over leveled again. It was surprisingly hard to progress in the early or early mid game. Okay, what do we have here? A story boss battle? Okay, these are definitely new monsters that I wasn't encountering before. It's kind of nice to move on to a new chapter and get a little bit fresh taste of the environment. For 
dragon's breath. <laughs> yeah, I guess I need to go around for the boss battle so I actually didn't make a mistake taking that battle first. What do we have? Some random stuff to loot, and I guess, yeah, we need to clear all of these minor battles to get to the boss. I was... For long, longest time, I didn't have any healer in my team, but now I kind of have a revi reviver or healer. It's not like a full healer, but it does a little bit healing on the side. Should be good enough to have easier time in the story progression. I was just going with full DPS team for a very long time. You, usually in the past enemies have kind of been stacked together on their side, but these elementals are just scattered around the map and I can't really tank them. But how hard is story progression meant to be? This should be phase roll and not something I have to deeply think about, at least at this point of the game. Damn, it actually wasn't as base roll as it was supposed to be. I lost the battle. I need to grind some of those resources to actually increase the level cap on my characters. God damn it. Maybe I can just do this if I actually use some food and at least use a little bit effort into it. What food do I have? That's only for Radiant. Okay, let's go with this uh, high level buff food. Maybe it's enough. I know that my champions are kind of not the best and low rated. I was checking some like tier lists and I know that the tank that I'm using is supposed to be a bad one, but I don't have too many options and I wanted to make a team with this affinity, so this is what we got. I think out of my champions, only one that is supposed to be good is the, uh, the female two-handed um, not two-handed, the dual-wielding fighter that you see on the left side of the screen. But I don't know if she's even being the main carry for me right now, but in the end game content, I guess she's meant to be good. Wait, I wanted to see the stats of that fight, but he didn't even show it to me. Okay, I think we finally got to the big bad boss battle. Oh, okay, let's... Let's clear this one last one and farm some of those uh, chests and then do the boss battle. But yeah, Dragonair is pretty hard game. The progression in the story, you can't just blindly face roll it. You actually have to build your teams and use the resources. I guess that's more of a positive thing than negative, but half-assing this isn't actually too easy. You actually need to be 
put some effort onto your teams. I have been kind of unlucky too. I definitely could use some better champions, but that's not the main deal. I could just upgrade my ranks anyway. Oh, that was a Mimic and not Worm Arrows. I was hoping to get some Heliolite dice or Worm Arrows, but it was just a Mimic. Yeah, that, that definitely brings back the RPG vibes. I recall um, meeting this kind of thing in many other games as well. Like, which one was it? I'm thinking of some recent games I played. I think it was either on either on Elden, Elden Ring or Baldur's Gate 3, but I remember in either one of them there's this like one really hard to reach place behind a castle that there's like where is a chest and I thought I found some hidden chest but it's actually like a mimic and then it summons multiple other mimics as well kind of uh, made to bait the players I, I think that was on Baldur's Gate 3. It's been a while ago, so I don't recall exactly. Oh, no dialogue. I thought this was going to be some kind of boss battle with dialogue, but it's just a plain old boss battle. Dragon remains outgrowth. What is that? I thought it was supposed to be a golem, but I guess it's not golem. It's just some self-animated dragon feces or whatever is it. <laughs> I mean, golems are supposed to be human-created, so I guess it can't be a golem. It's a dragon, dragon poop elemental, maybe. I don't know. I guess that's what it is. That that's a new new class of monster for RPG games. Dragon poop elementals. The boss battle is easier than the trash mobs that I had to beat on the way here. Well, I say that, but are we still gonna lose? Half of the team is dead. Okay, we got it fast. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's the dragon remains. No? The instant you touch the dragon talon stone, you feel power surge within you. Remarkably like the one you felt in the tainted tower. Man, that's a very ominous voice there. Voice actor is kind of tryharding there, but it's not not in a bad way. But it sounds like it's a theater uh, theater kid going for like ultra tryhard mode. You see a strange light emitting from the dragon talon stone. From the middle of it, the dragon remains separate out and descend onto your palm instinctively. In that same moment. You feel Nerika's mirror trembling violently. A force is tearing you away from the material plane. To, to what plane? Where are we going? Back to the Dragon Chaos Realm? Oh, okay, it's this one. This is the pocket dimension that um, the mage that was shaming against the king had. That, I think these tombstones were related to some old magic or something like that. Yeah, I guess we were supposed to come back here, but he's not here. Interesting. Oh, I guess we're gonna... I guess he's gonna come back if we're doing some... something cool. After sealing the dragon remains in the magic nexus, a strange murmur begins humming in your ear once again. 
Here we go again. Here we go again. He's clueless still. Still clueless he is. Just you wait. Wait and see. The time has yet to come. Okay, that... That didn't clarify much. Ah, I'm glad to see that your quest is going smoothly, Dragon Slayer. Yeah, th these guys' looks and voice, I don't think it hasn't been revealed in the story yet that he's like a bad guy. He's supposed to be like the king's advisor or something like that. But they are clearly trying to make him look as bad guy as possible. So I'm assuming that he's going to betray us or something like that. But, I mean, you can just see that he looks like some kind of Dracula in human form or whatever. Like I said, I'm not really like a lore, lore specialist or a lore enjoyer, but I guess the story is pretty relevant part of the game, so might as well pay attention to it. But not, I'm not gonna like go all the way to the, think about the dialogues of the side quests, but of course... The main story is what uh, they put most effort into. Don't forget that I've been guarding this forgotten realm for 50 years. So it's natural that I have my own ways of getting here. Okay, so he's mad that we were doing some ritual without him. I had some concerns previously. After all, unsettling rumors about Bayreach have been circulating within the Empire. But it seems like my concerns were unfounded, seeing as you managed to bring the dragon remains here. Yeah, I feel like he's definitely using us for some nefarious evil, but I don't know what exactly. According to records, there are three more chunks of dragon remains scattered across the land. They are located at Canine Peak, Iron Stones, and Sinner Swamp, respectively. Canine Peak is currently the closest to you and can be reached via the mountain path behind Sunset Outpost. If climbing the mountain is inconvenient for you, you can head for Ironstones first. It is home to the ridge halflings of Eulestein, whom you can seek assistance from. No matter which path you take, you will have to go past the Knoll of Monsters, located east of Bayreach. It's said that their recent black magic contamination has become increasingly severe, so please exercise caution when traveling through the area. No matter which path you take, you will have to go past the Knoll of Monsters, located east of Bayreach. It's said that their recent black magic contamination has become... All right, Wait, did you just blabber the same talking points twice? Promptly. May you have a smooth journey, Dragon Slayer. Okay, thanks, bro. The safety of the Empire is in your hands, Dragon. Dude, he's like saying goodbye to us, and then we turn turn around, and then he's like doing another speech. This is like so like uh, they really made this guy to be like a villain. Should anything else arise, you can consult with my advisor. Yeah, we just finished talking. I turn my back and start to leave, and then he's already giving me some advice or whatever. Okay, can I just leave? Okay, where... Okay. I guess we're just gonna finish off grinding the ruins and I will have to farm some junctions of video and increase the level cap on my characters, but... I think that's it for this video. I'm gonna keep grinding. This is not some in-game Dragonair progression. This is a new player doing some daily stuff. So this is realistic look how the game feels. If it sounds interesting to you, make sure to download the game from the link in description and the pinned post. But that's it. Chini out. Have a nice day.